Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So for today's viewer requested video, we have it from Yuru Taraman. Yuru Taraman. For, there are four too many syllables for me to understand that. Um, hello sir, and welcome. And uh, do dud bombs do damage? Now, just before we go any further, we have done some testing in this. What we wanted to test is if you can drop unfused stores and they damage a plane. So if you're in formation, you drop your tanks or something, does that damage the plane? It turns out it does but there are certain restrictions um, and that's we've got a whole number of videos you can go and watch that if you want the next follow-up is how many unfused mark 82 bombs does it take to kinetically kill a tank so we're going to go and find out what the result is in dcs no idea and then we're going to talk about the results and maybe uh, talk about how we compare that to real life so stand by and here is our test the aircraft we're going to have is a wagon and mobile and we've got 10 times mark 82 slicks on here and we're going to drop them inert so we're not jettisoning in we're dropping them inert on these targets here now it may be that in real life obviously the faster those bombs are going the more energy they're going to contain therefore the more damage they're going to do so just in case that's model we're going to do this test fast 500 knots or something you know about the max that we could ever really drop a bomb and we've got three sets of targets we've got unarmored you know kind of five mil armor at the most on these humvees or i don't know exactly you know on the top basically pretty much no armor i'd imagine then we've got a batch of apc slash ifvs i can't remember which it is so it's an apc but you know medium light armor 15 mil maybe 20 mil depending on you know which aspect and then we've got a heavy main battle tank. I've got an M1 here, and the armor is going to again depend on which aspect. I guess about six inches, probably maximum, about an inch maybe at the top. Um, I stand to be corrected. And we'll see uh, what we do. It's pointless predicting because it's just however Wags has decided to program it. So let's go in and have a test. Okay, so let's cruise for a second. Air to ground, Mark 82, fuses off CCIP, UFC, quantity. That's it. Full power. Let's go for the unarmored targets first. About 500, 500 knots or how uh, fast we can get. Pew! 550 knot bombs. That's a lot of KE in there. Woo! Boom! Okay. We have all of the Humvees dead. By the looks of things, and none of the APCs slash IFVs dead, I don't think. No, nothing with any type of armor was damaged at all. Um, and makes sense because the only thing that would have hit them, none of the bombs hit any of these guys, the only thing that would have hit them is the splash from these guys here, and that probably wouldn't have done any damage in real life or, or minimal. So next we're going to go and hit the uh, APCs. Unfused, quantity 10, enter. Let's go again. We're going for the APCs. 5.30 knots. Boom! Oh, we got hit! How about that? Oh, nice. I must admit, I wasn't expecting that. Very nice. Look at that. They're all dead. They're all dead. And we've got some collateral... Oh. Uh, some collateral of the Humvees as well. Right, jeez, the, the, the Humvees are all cooking off now. <laughs> 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 they all blew up. They all blew up. Have you ever wow. seen anything like it? And bear in mind, this is all Definitely unfused. Is more effective than a fuse bomb. This is, uh, you know what, I think we might actually be better with unfused bombs. So it doesn't actually <laughs> matter if you forget to fuse them. Right. I think they're all dead, I'll see, if I'm honest. Let's have a look around here. Oh, except for one. one did, well, yeah, one escaped. That's the clever guy. That's the high, high IQ guy. Well, that was actually unexpected. Oh, and the last guy went. Oh, it's nothing more satisfying than watching Vix cook off. In DCS, that is not real life. And, oh, apart from one APC who's got zero health and is about to die, uh, everything was destroyed. Oh, yeah, no... Yeah. No Abrams uh, damaged at all. Uh, obviously, they wouldn't be damaged by any of what happened and none of no direct hits. But that's it. Just so much KE goes in there, everything will just blow up. And that's exactly what happened. Let's reset and let's do the heavy armor. And this is going to be interesting, the heavy armor, because the armor is not, you know, they're not designed to be hit from above. They're very weak from above. A 30 mil cannon will go through them. Although these are not armor-piercing bombs, obviously, they are going nearly Mach 1. 
and they are you know over 100 kilos each that's a very high amount of ke going in there it's very possible you could put a tank out of action i think okay uh we've just got toey who said for 100 kilos at 550 knots that is four times 10 to the power of six which i think is 40 million it's a long time since i did maths so that is a lot of joules of energy in these babies there's a lot of joules of energy yeah four oh four four mega joules four mega joules of energy there's a lot of car crashes worth of energy in there right uh let's try and get the tanks this time may have missed 520 knots uh, they're definitely hitting boom oh look they just disappeared <laughs> no bang bang okay so <laughs> they all broke up the good thing about that is they all certainly hit the um they all hit the tanks because if they had missed the tanks and hit the ground they make this kind of big thud and the smoke comes up so they all hit possibly even one tank and damage is, wait for it, absolutely zero. So interesting. Direct hits from unfused uh, bombs, Mark 82s just being the average that we've got here, are going to destroy light armor and infantry as we thought they would do in real life. The IFE slash APCs do get destroyed with uh, direct hits, which I would consider right. I imagine they've got what, at best, what, 10 mil armor at the top? Mm, you know, a big thumping 100 kilo sack landing on top of those at 500 knots is almost certainly going to crush them. The, Amra, uh, the Abrams, it has absolutely no effect on them at all. Is that realistic? I don't really don't know. What, what are your thoughts on this, RC, while, while I make my judgment? I think that uh, a bomb which is designed to come apart will shatter on the armor of a tank. Roger. Okay, so he thinks... I don't um, think it'll go through. He doesn't think it'll go through. I don't think it will go through either, per se, but I think, realistically, I think the when we're talking megajoules of energy i think it may not go through but it's just gonna damage it so much that the concussion is just going to destroy everything inside so it may not go through and kind of you know obliterate it like a um god for like a safi or whatever they're called round but um i think it would probably just you know hit it so hard like a massive thor's hammer just hitting it i i, I just think it would destroy it like that well if you um, think of it this way, those tanks are designed to take tank rounds. Mm. Well, from the sides, remember, RC. From the sides. Right. Where we're, we're always yeah. going to be hitting these, in this case, from the top. And simple, like I said, top. bear in mind that 30 Mike Mike um, Gow 8 go, rounds go through it. Now, they are armor piercing, obviously. But That's true. Just to be thorough, because we like to be thorough in Grim Reapers, why don't we just go and uh, times the KE by 4 by using Mark 84s, RC? Okay, this time we've got Mark 84 bombs, 2,000 pounds, so that's four times the kinetic energy of that bomb. Let's get all the KE we can into this thing. Maximize speed. Hopefully we can hit them. So we've got 520 knots of big mother hubbers. Wow, this plane is so accurate. It is. It's so pinpoint Ooh. accurate, isn't it? <laughs> Typical Wagner code. No, um, no damage at all. That's the end of that. Uh, there's nothing we can do there. I draw your own conclusions and argue. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later.